What's up, guys? Uh, very impressive. Uh, so, uh, uh, leading up to Christmas last year, uh, Jay Gattuso, Emerson Vandy, and myself got together and uh, put together an arcade cabinet. Uh, came about from Jay's visit to the Internet Archive in San Francisco, where he saw they had their Internet Arcade stuff in the foyer. Here's a list of uh, some of the games, what the page would look like if you went and saw it. It's, uh, there's some goodies and some baddies in there, a lot of baddies. Uh, ranged from about uh, ooh, the 70s through to the mid 90s. Um, some, yeah, some terrible stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the, uh, what it happened, how, how it happened, is MAME, you might have heard of it, it's the dirty thing that allows people to pirate arcade games. But it is also a fantastic uh, example of digital preservation and people doing something for the love of it. Uh, they, uh, and what the Internet Arca Archive <laughs> did was they um, <laughs> ported it to JavaScript, which meant you can play all those games in your web browser with your keys or with an Xbox controller or whatever. Uh, so basically what we did was we took that and or there's a list of some of the games you can see, some like, let's see if I can get this going, like Street Fighter, that came down pretty quickly, because they're still selling that on every single platform imaginable. Um, yeah, so it started off about 900 games. Uh, by the time we got hold of it, it was 600 games, as because, you know, Internet Archive tends to do that thing where they put stuff up, then let someone complain about it, and then they pull it down. Uh, and they did that with us as well. Uh, they, they've used, um, it's called JMS, which is, so MAME is Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. MESS is uh, something, something, something. It does a whole lot of other stuff anyway, who cares, doesn't matter. It all works in JavaScript now, uh, and mostly works in Firefox and stuff. It's all pretty rad. Um, so yeah, so here is two arcade machines from, you may recognize those if you're from New Zealand or Australia. They're a what you call a Neo Geo Lowboy. I'm a bit of a Neo Geo fan, see the Metal Slug t-shirt. Um, and those are fairly unique designs for New Zealand, Australia. Uh, in New Zealand, they were put together by a company called Coin Cascades in Christchurch uh, from about the early 90s to the late 90s, and that was the design. Look at my, oh yeah, that came out terrible. Oh, so bad. Yeah, I couldn't get access to my computer at work, which had the nice PDF on it. Uh, so it's the low res one I found a photo bucket. Anyway, as Emerson pointed out in a meeting, he did the math, those angles are not accurate, so do not copy those plans. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's another great thing about this community is there's a whole bunch of people out there willing to help you build it, help you show what to do, provide you with plans, and just generally offer you advice. So now we'll cue the build montage. This is Jay doing some routing with our pretty sweet safety gear. Uh, you can see it makes, routing makes a lot of mess. Uh, we did this all in my garage in the weekends and at night. Um, that's the little box there that the computer is running. There's, there's a stick there, there's a, all these wires all go and do buttons and stuff. There's a micro switch, that button probably worked then. Um, that's kind of the level of carnage we were working with. Um, there's the uh, machine, uh, I think it was just before we finished assembling it and started painting it. This is me painting it. Uh, we didn't get very good photos. <laughs> JR's phone got stolen, so he lost a lot of his photos. Uh, and then there's some more color. Uh, that's actually my arcade machine because I couldn't get earthquake and all, couldn't get to take photos of the inside of them, but there you can see the uh, arcade sticks and the buttons and that's a thing called a JPack or an IPack or something. It's like a keyboard encoder. All the same. We use the same uh, setup for both. Uh, and there's some sweet signage I made, some uh, stickers. Uh, if you want one, I can hook you up. They're massive. Uh, and that's a um, marquee light thing. And that's what it looks like. Again, real crappy photo because my phone sucks. Um, but yeah, couldn't get into the building to take a better one. My bad. Shouldn't have planned it so late. So and then the next uh, challenge became, once we'd built the thing, is like, how do you navigate this with, you know, these uh, sticks and stuff? I mean, that's not a, you don't want to have a mouse and a keyboard on your uh, arcade machine, because that would be lame. <laughs> so what I did was I built a interface in uh, using Python and Flask and a bit of JavaScript and there's a bit of a database behind it. 
And uh, yeah, so you navigate this all with the sticks. You've got some uh, instructions there. You've got an escape button, select. You only enter the buttons with a select. You've got your sticks, and you, yeah, all works. Bagman has been the game of the week for a year now because I haven't changed it. These will randomly pop up with new ones to show you ones. Uh, here you've got sweet navigation. Uh, I also managed to grab a whole lot of artwork, and that is my favorite part, because there is some sick artwork from the arcade times, and some racy stuff as well. Hopefully I didn't put any in. Uh, and then on top of it, just to double down on the awesomeness, I also scraped Wikipedia, Internet Archive, and Giant Bomb, which is a web, basically Wikipedia for video games, pretty awesome community, so that you know the game might be terrible, but you know why it's terrible, or why it's important that people are still playing it, because you can read all about it before you play the game. Uh, ooh, wow, look at me, I'm ahead of time. Um, so basically, I can't, couldn't bring this machine with me, but tomorrow I will be using I've got these little sticks here that I built for my Neo Geo machine to play real carts, but I've also adapted them with Arduinos, and I have the... Uh, interface, some games, and these that you can check out tomorrow at the uh, thing of me demo hall. So yeah, come have a chat. I can show you how to wire up an Arduino, make some sick arcade games. Uh, yeah, cool, thanks.